Hi, this is Phil again, and I'm recording a second video here just to show how to get a couple of functions working on uh, the A81e MID tablet. Um, when you get this tablet, uh, it's not going to have uh, Android Marketplace, it's not going to have a video player. So um, these two functions are something that you have to set up yourself. Uh, first, to get the market, um, the one that I use is SlideMe. Um, there are lots of third-party applications available. Uh, it's called SlideMe 3.5, and if you go to slideme.org, um, you'll find it there. You can download it right directly onto the tablet. So let's go and slideme.org. and it's loading up and here it is okay so uh, right on their page you have the option to download SAM um, and that's what you want so I'm just gonna click that and here it comes It's downloaded, so I'm going to install the SlideMe Marketplace. And just like that, it's ready to use. Now, uh, when I first ran this, it didn't display properly, um, so you can fix that. Um, there's uh, some settings called Spare Parts. Um, if you go there, and you go to compatibility mode um, then you'll uh, just uncheck it as I have here and uh, if it's unchecked and you reboot then um, the slide me marketplace will display properly also a lot of uh, older applications meant for smaller phones should display properly so um, now I'm gonna go to the slide me uh, marketplace and I'm going to download a uh, video player. Um, not all video players are going to work with the uh, A81 because it uses special hardware encoding um, but this uh, one application that I found uh, works quite well with it so I'm going to search for it. It's called it's called YX Flash and I'm going to do a search here Searching on Slide Me, found it, and I'm going to. Oh, it looks like I've already installed this, so um, I'm just going to open the program here. Um, it's a trial version, um, but this is definitely one that I'm going to end up buying. Um, so now, if I go to Settings, you see uh, it has a checkbox for Enable Neon Acceleration. So I'm going to check that. Um, it's for Cortex A8 processors only. And now I'm going to load a video to show you that it's working. Uh, it handles several file formats, um, DivX, MP4. There were some other ones. I think MPG files are supported. Um, and there were other ones. I don't have a list of them with me, but as far as I know, this would be the best uh, viewer to use for videos because of that Cortex A8 acceleration. And this is um, Sherlock Holmes. Anyway, that's the movie starting up. Um, also, I wanted to show you um, how to flash the ROM. Um, Wits Tech releases updates to Android 
um, from time to time and also you have the option of loading uh, Windows CE onto this so if you're going to want to do that you're going to need to flash the ROM um, it's not that hard to do um, turn off the device I went and bought one of these it's a uh, just a card reader for a micro SD card so I'm going to pop out the micro SD from the bottom here and the way to flash the ROM is you would uh, visit the Merrim Mobile's website um, the page where the A81 is shown uh, has some specifications down at the bottom of the page and you'll see links to uh, download uh, file packages for either Windows CE or for uh, Android and so uh, depending on uh, which one you're flashing you'd select your package and uh, download the files um, you would uh, then transfer them uh, to your to your uh, card reader uh, the MLO file is the one you're going to want to transfer first. Make sure you have the um, the card formatted for FAT32 and transfer the MLO file first. Uh, then the rest of the files of the package you would then copy to your SD card. And once you've got all your files loaded up, then what you do is put your card back into the device. You're going to want to remove the battery. And then you need to hold this button up top here. It's the left scroll button, the one that's closest to the power button. Hold that in plug in the power cord and if you held this in you should see the four color screen and then you'll need to wait a few minutes uh, five or ten minutes until it finishes uh, for the the new OS to boot up whether it be an update to Android or uh, Windows CE Windows CE I loaded for a, a week or so and um, you know it was decent uh, definitely I find Android to be faster for web browsing uh, seems to have better memory management but um, I was able to use my USB excuse me not USB Bluetooth keyboard uh, with Windows CE which is nice if you're going to type an email on the go you got that so uh, Bluetooth was functioning properly in Windows CE and also uh, GPS uh, I got TomTom7 Tom loaded up on CE worked fine there's some other uh, GPS applications out there for it um, you know some for uh, hiking if you take it out hiking you could look at some ele elevation maps I thought that was kind of neat um, so uh, you know it, it has its uses but I definitely prefer Android and so uh, and that's how you do it so um, hopefully that'll be helpful to some of you thanks a lot